Some lovely 19th century paintings included in our sale on December the 9th. And uh, the first one here that I'm going to show you is work that's attributed to, to um, Edwin Hayes. It's unsigned, um, but it's very much in his style, but we can't say for an absolute fact. And it would appear to be Dublin Bay, and these fellows are apparently setting uh, lobster pots out in the bay. Uh, so it's on canvas, it's got a lovely sort of uh, um, late evening um, sunset there. The treatment of the, um, the summer skies there is, is very well done. Down here is a really rare work by um, an artist called uh, Edward Brennan. Um, it's entitled Sunset and it was painted in 1884. Um, Brennan was born in Kilkenny, his father was a tailor and he trained to become a tailor and he ended up working not a million miles away from here on Dawson Street before he started taking up painting seriously. Um, he's, he's mentioned in Walter Strickland's uh, Dictionary of Irish Painters and um, Strickland mentions that he worked in London and in fact quite a number of the pictures that he painted for exhibition in the RAJ have interesting titles which would suggest that he was painting in the area around London on the Thames Valley. Um, but Strickland um, mentions that he died on the continent uh, due to the effects of intemperance. So the next one here is a work by William Brokus, uh, painted in 1861. Um, we were of the view that this is a view of the, uh, the bridge at Inishannon over the Bandon River and that this here was Inishannon but there seems to be some suggestion that instead of it being in uh, West Cork that it's actually in North Wales. So we've yet to determine that exactly but you know it's estimated at four to six thousand and to be honest with you whether it's North Wales or whether it's West Cork it won't make a whole lot of difference to the, uh, the ultimate price. Beautifully painted picture by Brokus. This little fella here is by James Arthur O'Connor and uh, it's a rather sweet little view and in typical fashion it's got the, uh, the figure with the, um, the red jacket which again is one of the uh, characteristics of a lot of O'Connor's work. The plaque on the bottom um, says Glendalough County Wicklow but it's quite obviously not uh, Glendalough for anybody who knows that, that area. But it's a very sweet little picture, beautifully framed, that nice arch top. Next one is an Irish school painting around about 1860 or so and it's called Market Day West of Ireland. Um, and again, it's got this marvellous backdrop of the uh, the archway, but uh, the figures and the, the in, in the marketplace there in the back, there's all sorts of things being traded. Um, but it's a lovely little sketch there of uh, a moment in a um, a coastal marketplace. You've got the this this young woman who's um, selling fish, and the other uh, girl there with the little donkey and cart, and the two smaller children. Um, there's a very indistinct signature down here that looks as if it's Kincaid, but we haven't been able to find out anything further. Um, again, a picture of that size, beautifully framed. It's estimated at a few thousand, a couple of thousand euro. Um, Thomas Rose Miles is one of um, the, certainly one of the most prolific uh, Irish marine painters. And that's a sort of a typical example of, of, of his work. And these guys in their, uh, their rowing boat it looks like they're heading out to uh, a, a boat that's in distress. Um, but above us is a magnificent painting by Edwin Hayes, who's probably, certainly during the course of the 19th century, was considered uh, Ireland's foremost marine painter. This is a view at Falmouth, and it's the entrance to Falmouth Harbour, and the um, Castle up on the hill is uh, Pendennis uh, Castle, which was a fort that was built by Henry VIII uh, to repel sort of uh, foreign invasions. But again, what's brilliant about uh, Edwin Hayes is his ability to capture the mood, the colour and the power and movement of the sea. 
He was a great uh, fisher or um, sailor himself, and he sailed right around the coast of Ireland and England, and also over across the Channel to the coast of um, Holland. But this, as I say, is this is a Cornish, uh, a Cornish scene. So the large painting here um, is a spectacular example of the work of Bartholomew Collis Watkins and it is a scene in County Kerry and it's um, the road uh, that goes through Moll's Gap, the Gap of Dunlow and what's interesting about Collis Watkins is that he was an artist who um, certainly early on in his career was influenced by the Romantic painters and then around about uh, when he was in his 30s he visited Norway and while there he was very much influenced by the dramatic landscapes that he saw in Scandinavia. So he's come back to Ireland and uh, about eight or nine years later painted this picture in the late 1860s and in many ways it doesn't really look like an Irish landscape but it actually is on occasions when you're traveling between Killarney and Kenmare you will come across this incredible mountain range um, but again what's lovely and it's very Irish sense is this uh, drover here with his um, herd of cattle and the little uh, thatch cottage with the outhouses and the, uh, the little stream of um, smoke from the chimney but it's quite an incredible um, incredible work this is estimated at um, 8 to 12,000 euro and curiously Strickland in his dictionary references the fact that uh, Collis Watkins while undoubtedly a really fine artist was too taken up with getting the detail right but in fact in many ways that is in my view one of his um, great achievements is for you know a picture on such a large scale to be able to paint with such incredible detail and also to capture the mood and atmosphere of this incredible landscape.